What's up guys, Big Jano here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and welcome back to the Anycubic Mega X how-to series. I've gotten some really good feedback on the first few videos of the series and you guys seem to love these videos. They're the most popular on my YouTube channel. So thank you, thank you for that. And I wanted to make a few more videos on the Anycubic Mega X to help you guys out even more. You're welcome. Today, we're gonna to be covering how to replace your nozzle on your Anycubic Mega X. Now, replacing a nozzle on your 3D printer is pretty common in the 3D printing world. However, I wanna show you guys exactly what I did on my Anycubic Mega X. So if you guys have the same machine, you guys will know exactly what to do. It may look intimidating, but it's honestly one of the easiest things you can do with your 3D printer. All right, let's get right into it because let's face it, the more time we waste, the more likely you're gonna click off this video and onto another one. So let's go. To start, you're gonna to go to the main screen of your 3D printer, go to tools, then you're gonna select the filament button and then you're gonna click filament remove. You're gonna to wanna to remove the filament if you have any in there before changing the nozzle. And so now you're just gonna to wait to heat up the nozzle to 230 degrees Celsius to remove the filament and begin the nozzle changing process. In order to change the nozzle out, you have to have it heated up to at least 200 degrees Celsius. I recommend keeping it at 230 while you're doing this uh, for two reasons. One, uh, the threading on the nozzle expands when heated up making it easier to remove and put back in, but also having it heated up creates a better seal between the heat break and the nozzle when replacing, so you're less likely to have any clogs or leakages of filament after the fact when you are putting new filament through the new nozzle uh, and printing. Once we hit 230 degrees Celsius, go ahead and hit the filament remove button again to start the filament unloading process. To do this, you're gonna need a screwdriver or a spanner with a special seven millimeter hex head socket attachment you're also going to need a screwdriver of some kind to hold the heater block while you're threading. Also, this is for using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and replacing another 0.4 millimeter nozzle. First things first, take your screwdriver and get it set up on the heater block so it's nice and snug on there so it's not moving around. I decided to keep the silicone sock on my hot end block. You can remove it if you want. If you do decide to keep it on, it's going to be a little bit snugger on the screwdriver. So I recommend holding on to the hot end carriage while getting the screwdriver set in place so it doesn't move around too much. You wanna be very careful when doing this because all the hot end wires are still attached and damaging any of the wires are gonna cause more issues down the road. So be very careful when you do that. Once you get the screwdriver in place on the heater block, take your spanner tool and wrap it around the nozzle and start to untighten the nozzle from the hot end. Once you get the nozzle removed from the hot end, I suggest putting it on your glass bed or putting it on a ceramic plate for it to cool down. Once the old nozzle is removed, take your new nozzle and put it pointy side down into the spanner opening. You want the threads of the new nozzle to be pointing up towards the opening on the heat block. This is also a good way for you not to burn your fingers when putting in a new nozzle, and that's what the spanner tool is there for, to kind of prop it in place to get yourself in a better position to thread it back in. Start threading in the new nozzle until it's nice and snug. You wanna make sure it's nice and tight because you do not want any leakages in the heat break or the new nozzle for filament to come pouring out of. So make sure it's nice and tight. Once that's done, you should be good to go to start loading new filament in and make sure the filament's loading in correctly without any leakages. Once you're at this point, you should be good to go to start printing again. Just to give you a comparison of what we started and what we swapped, this is our old nozzle. And this is the new nozzle we ended up swapping in. You can see the differences in the nozzle. The old one is very, very worn out. It's been in there for almost a year now. So this was a good time for a replacement. Before starting a new print, make sure to wipe down your bed of any residue that came from your old nozzle. Uh, make sure your bed's clean. And while you're at it, make sure everything else is tightened down and good to go. I recommend doing a test print here. Nothing too crazy. Maybe a Benchy or a calibration cube just to make sure the filament's uh, flowing pretty well and you don't see any issues in your hot end. Also, one thing to note, depending on what material of a nozzle you're swapping out, certain nozzles have different thermal conductivity, such as the stainless steel one. So you might have to adjust your temperatures a little bit to compensate for the, the material in your nozzle to be heating up at a slower or faster rate. Uh, so just look into that before you start swapping nozzles in. Um, if you're swapping a brass with a brass, you should have no issues. In my case with the stainless steel, I might have to tweak my temperatures a few degrees, but other than that, I should be okay.
And there you have it guys, that's how you replace a nozzle on your Anycubic Mega X. I hope this video was straightforward enough for you guys and not overly complicated. I wanted to make this video a very simple video. Um, this process is a very simple process, but it needs to be done on your 3D printer every so often. Uh, as nozzles wear out, the quality of your prints go down, so replacing nozzles is a good thing to know. And by this video, hopefully we'll teach you how to do it fairly quickly. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you have any tips or tricks on replacing your nozzle in your 3D printer. Also, if you've enjoyed this video or any of the other Anycubic Mega X how-to videos, please go consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't yet done so. Reminder as well, I'm also on Twitch and Twitter at BigJano on Twitter is where you can find me and twitch.tv slash BigJano is where you can find me live streaming a few nights a week where we sit here, talk about 3D printing, sometimes game and just have fun and uh, hang out with the community. So come on by if you haven't already. Once again, thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And until next time, keep doing it big.